What's up, champions? Mike here. Welcome back to Game Dev with AI, our place, our experiment where we're developing our first real time strategy game, an indie game. I'm developing basically just myself with the help of AI, tools like ChatGPT, MidJourney, and of course, a little bit of help of experts of Fiverr. So I continue our experiment and we are progressing very nicely over the last 25 videos. If you're following my progress, we developed quite a lot of stuff already in our game. And today, while uh, I have been developing the main menu with the help of Khaled from Fiverr, if you missed my previous video, I explained how you can outsource some of the things. So this way I can focus on the development of the actual gameplay and the elements that I need in the game while Haliet is developing the main menu and the post menu for me at the same time so we can speed up our development and hopefully finish the game. In case you're already watching, if our game is already on Steam, I would be more than happy if you check it out and get the game and let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway, there is still a lot of work to do, so without further ado, let's get to it. If you remember, in our game, we will have three types of construction buildings. First, we have the robot construction factories, uh, the vehicle construction factories, and the tank construction factories. I will show you starting with the robot factories. This one was here originally from the start of our game. This is how it looked before. Pretty funny, but this is wrong angle. <laughs> So then with the tools of Minchioni, I developed a new style. I've been going through a lot of uh, prompts and variations to find the style that fits our game very well. And I found this style that is really, really appealing in my opinion. It fits perfectly. It's a perfect angle and I can do variations of this, this way that we have consistent look of our game. So we have three levels. The a standard, the first level, I mean, sorry, the first level, the second, the third, and they produce different kinds of units. So after a lot of trial and error, I selected three that I really like so far. So this one will be small, medium, and big one. And what else we got here? Can we zoom it a little bit more? I like this. So origin points on the left is the center, basically, of this object. Then we have image point one is where the robots are coming from. Then the shadow point, obviously. Then we have progress bar, which on top shows the progress of construction. And then some little fun elements. I call them flicker. You see, we have some lights here and I want them to flash. To flicker so that it looks like it's animated and the production is going on so i added three points where the flickers will be and later in this video i'll show you the code of the flicker or maybe i'll just show it right away so we don't forget about it so flicker is just an image let's let me quickly show you what a flicker is so something like this yeah so it's just flashing image right very simple stuff and then i put it here and then in our code, in our code group, I created called flicker lights. And this is very simple code. So for every random from one to 10 seconds for each robot factory, if it's already captured because we don't want to flicker if it's neutral, right? Then we spawn the flicker and it will automatically disappear using the fade technique the fade behavior. So the only behavior we have is called fade, which will destroy the object after flickering is done. So the robot factory, uh, the vehicle factory and the tank factory have very similar codes. So I will only show you for robot factory and then you can apply same logic obviously to other factories as well. The difference is just the units they produce and how they visually look. As always, feel free to pause because I'm not going to read all this code. This took me weeks and weeks to develop. And this is not something I can just develop in real time with you. So you can pause and then you can study in case you're interested. But for now, I'll just quickly go through what, what each part means because this, this is pretty easy stuff, but you have to spend a lot of time making it actually. So for each, on the start of layout, the start of our level, for each robot factory, we need to adjust 
a filter that is called adjust hue saturation and what's the third one la, 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 la. La, la, la. luminosity sorry <laughs> so this filter is helping us to make a uh, factory look completely grayed out if nobody captured it and once people once robot capture it it becomes either red for our team or blue in the past i used effect called tint tint but it looks ter terrible so i switched to adjust hue saturation and luminosity instead of tint and i removed the tint now when the robot factory is created um, we need to set a rally point you know because we don't want all robots just to appear in the same place it gets stuck in the same point so for this for this reason i have some random uh, locations around the factory so they go there and of course if the person the player already set different rally point then we'll use it but i'll show you in just a minute in different part of the code about the rally points then we create progress bar on top and we set the correct uh, UID for this and what's a progress bar let's see progress bar is just a bar like this which will have three stages and as time goes it will show us the progress and this is the black part that will be uh, covering the bar and so it appears like bar has new uh, okay my english is not working today but you get the idea like we're progressing i need a coffee <laughs> anyways i hope you understand what it means it's just a bar next what we got here ah we have a timer let me show you robot factory and our behaviors so we have line of sight why we need line of sight because we want the color and the owner of the factory be decided by the flag that is nearby that's why we have line of sight easy isometric is allowing us uh, this is an add-on that i bought if you missed my video i was buying some add-ons that are very helpful it allows units uh, automatically control the z level so it looks much better so they don't overlap visually it's pretty cool add-on must have for this kind of games and of course the timer the timer will set how fast um, the factories is producing each factory will have its own timer and on timer produce we should start producing the robots as we have three levels of the tech and i will show you the upgrade in just a moment we, we need to set different production for each tech level right and this condition i'm checking so oh i'm sorry in this condition i'm checking so that total count is less than maximum capacity of this uh, map because we don't want to produce too many robots and slow down the game so once uh, if it's tech level one then we are producing the grant uh, the most primitive minion robot we set his parameters we set the rally point and his coordinates and we make him uh, go a little bit further to this rally point now we repeat the same for level two this will be produced the laser bot now i didn't implement it in the game yet and on level three we are producing the rocket troop all the same thing now uh, here is a code of progress bar this is quite complex code so i was getting outside help from the fiverr guy called rio he's extremely knowledgeable and i highly recommend guys if you get stuck if chat gpt cannot help you hire somebody hire an expert pay him his compensation and let him teach you let uh, learn from him and this is really helpful to progress especially in parts where it's too complicated and it's just outside of the scope of your knowledge so don't be ashamed to outsource to get some help 
because in some points of the game this is crucial otherwise you'll never complete it you'll just get stuck in something and there's no point just get help if you need it there's nothing to be ashamed of here this part was developed by Rio, and you can pause and see what it means basically he's creating the progress bar and he sets correct uid for the correct um, progress bar to make sure that each correct factory shows its own bar because they have different production times hope it makes sense okay this code is not needed we cross it out sometimes it's good to cross out the code when you're testing different things before deleting it because sometimes you have to revert back so crossing out code really helps to get old version of the code still there for you and later you can clean up and delete everything so that was old version now it's a new version right now so here is um, how we appear the progress bar when we move our mouse over the factory okay that's an old solution we don't need it this will produce enemies if the factory owner is two which means a blue team we produce the troop enemy and set his timers and finally here is a code that sets robots factory ownership so if we see the flag nearby we check the owner of the flag and this is how we decide who is the owner of our factory and then we use this adjust hue saturation luminosity filter to set the correct color of the factory and we set its timers and finally we remember we have zombies so if zombie captures the flag the whole territory and its factories becoming neutral here is the rally point code rally point let's add click and choose the place where the unit are going to go once they're produced so not they're not gathered around the factory there you go this is pretty simple stuff i did this one myself even no need for chat gpt in this one quite simple code and finally and finally the upgrading tag for robot factories and the same for other factories we create a, a transitionary object called upgrade robot factory let's see how it looks it looks like this and it has three different stages one two and three it's like three different progress stages so once we click to upgrade then we spawn this helpful transitionary object upgrade robot factory we make sure we save the tech level so we don't forget what kind of tech level we are going to get and then i just produce a lot of effects like particles gears flying around some flashes and all this funny stuff eye candy fireworks whatever you like it some sounds and once everything is done it will produce the new robot factory of the next level there is nothing complicated here but this code is quite long with a lot of waiting between them launching different stages of uh, visual effects so you can pause and see what i'm doing here this is nothing complicated just a lot of cool visual effects and nothing else and finally for the robot factory depending on each technical level we set different animations so it looks different there you go that's a lot of stuff to consume i know but this is nothing complicated to be honest just very time consuming then if we go to our playground it's a testing area we have all three here and let's quickly run it and see how it works you see the gray before anybody captured it so see our robot is capturing it and now they all became red and let's see if blue guys also capture it see now they captured it and it becomes blue and you see they go behind it and that is easy is a metric working so they go kind of behind it so this is all blue and there is no ob obviously progress bar but here if i move over the progress bar is appearing and it's counting time and it's pay attention it's called flickering that's exactly what i was talking about it's just flickering it makes animation it makes it really cool so finally when the timer goes full the production will be done let's wait a second till it happens 
Meanwhile, we can capture some things. We captured the Gritty. And look at this sneaky guy already coming to capture my factories. So, not so fast, my friend. Goodbye. Alright. Let's deal with this one. And you see, we already produced a tank. A big wheel truck. And if I have too many units, the production will automatically stop. And to upgrade, we just click on it. You can see it's upgrading. You can upgrade everything. And you can see also our cursor is changing when upgrading is happening. Alright. You see all these effects coming and now everything is upgraded. So this is level 2 vehicle factory, this is level 2 tank factory and level 2 robot factory. There you have it guys, that's all for today, I hope you enjoyed our progress, let me know in the comments below what we should do next, and meanwhile let's nuke them all. <laughs> By the way, if the game is available on Steam and you're watching it much later, or any other platforms, please support it, get it, and let me know if you like it. Come on, we got it. Let's kill the greedy. Alright. Few more. Blue guys. Let's finish them all. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, come on, we're being overrun. It's too many of them. Okay. <laughs> Our last chip. Come on, you can do it now. Better luck next time. Better luck next time. Let's see if you can do better than me. That's all for today. Take care. Cheers. Bye.